Thanks for checking into today's post. I'm ready to tell you all about QuietTech. This is an extremely exciting product that recently came onto the market. We're always constantly looking for new ways to create a high quality sound environment. Reduce the noise, right? I have three kids at home. What I would give to have a tranquil environment. Or even at work, cut the noise down in the open office area. Or medically, have nice quiet rooms for patients to rest in. Or schools, etc. Tons of applications. This product, which comes primarily from carpet, specifically Broadloom carpet, which historically has had very limited options at end of useful life, often winding up in the landfill, but now has a unique opportunity to become a new cradle to cradle sustainable solution. As I mentioned yesterday, Carpet Cycle is an incredible company in New Jersey who collects it. They provide this material to QuietTech, who in turn create a local product here in the greater New York City market to give to its customers to put inside walls or on surfaces of walls to improve the sound quality. Hey, I'm cutting in here. After that very enthusiastic and generous introduction, let's cut right to the chase and start talking about QuietTech. QuietTech is a high performance acoustic bat solution. Meant to go in between walls or on the surface, and we'll talk more about those applications later on. So I'm gonna jump in here and interrupt for a second because I wanna talk more about the material details that make up QuietTech. As I already mentioned, QuietTech is made up extensively of recycled Broadloom carpet fibers, but let's dig a little bit deeper into the engineering about why this is so important. Don't worry, you don't have to have a chemical engineering degree from Carnegie Mellon University in order to appreciate that Broadloom carpeting has always been a challenge to recycle. This is due to the multiple polymer types that are used in its construction, notably Nylon 6, Nylon 66, PET, polypropylene, and wool. Separating carpet by fiber type is very labor intensive and requires added warehouse space, thus making it very expensive, certainly versus using cheaper raw virgin materials. And now enter QuietTech, who present a unique fiber agnostic outlet for all types of Broadloom. These recycled Broadloom carpet fibers are combined with recycled fire resistant treated cotton clothing fibers, PET binder fibers to create a non-woven bat insulation with superior acoustical performance, creating a truly circular economy product. Check out the fibers here up close. With the exception of the color, it looks highly reminiscent of the pink insulation that we're all used to. Check out these pictures here. What makes this product so exciting from an environmental standpoint is the high level of recycled content. But also, it's taking a product that is typically put into a landfill, carpet, and turning that back into a new solution. Thus, can be defined as a cradle-to-cradle -cradle product, joining the circular economy to create more eco-conscientious solutions that we can use for various applications. And actually, considering the fact that this solution can be recycled at the end of its insulation life, I guess that makes it cradle-to-cradle-to-cradle. -to -cradle -to -cradle. Additionally, unlike many traditional bat solutions, it's actually safe to the touch, making it much easier to install. It won't cause any lung or skin irritation, and given the nature of the materials, inhibits mold and mildew growth. Lastly, given there's no adhesives involved, it helps improve indoor air quality, limiting the use of formaldehydes and VOCs. From a sustainability standpoint, QuietTech gets top marks, but its performance is where it really hits its stride. Let's talk about that now. Sound transmission is a very important aspect of acoustical performance, and QuietTech does very well here. What we're talking about is when you take two inches of QuietTech, put it inside a wall, how well will it decrease sound from one side to the other? It will actually reduce it by 50%, which is in line, if not slightly ahead, of competition. The other aspect to consider is absorption. That's the ability for a product like QuietTech to have a sound hit it, hold on to it, and not emit it back into the room, or at least most of it. To measure this, it uses a value called the NRC, or Noise Reduction Coefficient. To achieve a value of 1, that means it's able to hold on to 100% of the sound that hits it. For QuietTech, it achieves a value of 0.95, or a 95% absorption capability. Okay, let's just be honest here. I just threw a ton of engineering information at you, talking about these values, NRC rates, etc. Look, if you want to do a deep dive on this, you can go to their website, quiettechrecycling.com. They have all of the documentation there that you can explore that even further. To be able to break this down just simply, if we're talking about absorption, how does this stack up against the competition? 
on average, NRC rates will range anywhere from 0.7 up to 0.9 or so, maybe even slightly higher. So certainly at 0.95, Quietech does very well from an absorption standpoint. Quietech is actually a very versatile product. It can be used on an array of projects from residential, commercial, education, medical, and more. It breaks down into two key categories of how it's applied. The first is in-wall. As it sounds, the sound bat is placed inside the wall. This helps address transmission, as we talked about earlier, preventing sound from traveling from one room to the other. Separately, you have on-wall. As it sounds, this actually is applied onto the wall. To help address absorption, it can be great in a commercial application helping reduce sound within a big open room. You can either apply it in its raw form or even wrap it in a decorative fabric to create a very nice aesthetic. If I capture your attention on Quietech, that's great. If you have more information, you can go to their website at quiettechrecycling.com. But what about lead time, pricing, samples, etc.? They can certainly help you with all that. I will tell you from a pricing standpoint, like many eco-friendly materials, there is a premium when it comes to the pricing. I personally didn't find it offensive. However, yes, if you want to get down and dirty, there are cheaper materials to consider, but you're going to certainly degrade in terms of the quality of its performance as well as environmental standing. Hey, keep watching after I wrap it up here. I included some videos so you can actually see Quietech being made. And thanks for joining today. Hit like if you enjoyed this video or share it with a friend. And keep watching for all things green.